So it's an exercise in preparing grounds for working on canvas boards. So I've got a white canvas board here, uh, which hasn't got much texture on it. So I'm actually preparing textures. And I'm also working from my sketches that I did at Studland. And so I'm preparing the grounds separately for each one. I've just prepared this one. And I'm gonna go on to my next sketch, which is number four. Uh, which is this ground here. So I'm preparing the textural backgrounds for this painting to be then recreated on it. So I'm putting that there so I can see it and be working on that. And I'm now going to be working on the acrylic background. Now these are gonna be oil paintings and I'm looking at the colors here. Um, mainly there's yellows and greens and some whites. So I'm gonna make a complementary color ground background so it's going to be warm, it's got to have some reds and browns in it. So I'm mixing my acrylic paint up here. Um, we need quite a nice sort of acrylic paint. So I've got some basic neutral green grey. I'm now going to add some red to that. Right, so I've got a little bit of black to add to that as well because I want to make it neutral. So this is a bit of acrylic Mars black. And I'm going to mix that all together using my palette knife to make a nice neutral base colour. Great, so that's enough, that's ready to go. Now I'm going to prime it now with a basic thin coat of the acrylic straight onto my canvas board. Now, I personally hate painting on white. White just tends to be so difficult to judge the colours against that you're, you're trying to recreate from your observation. If you've got a neutral background, it makes it so much easier. Um, and also then you can have some of the darker colour gleaming through and that helps make the painting far more attractive. Now I shall be painting on top of this with oils, but I'm priming my canvas boards with acrylic. So now I'm looking back at my painting and I'm going to build some textures up here in these areas uh, with some sand that I found actually on uh, Shell Bay, uh, just around uh, near um, and so I'm actually going to be crumbling that straight into the damp acrylic. Just building up some of these free textures. So it will stick into the that sort of area. So that's quite nicely built up. And now um, these sort of free areas here, I want some texture in there. And I'm just going to, I've got some um, acid free tissue here and I'm ripping it up. into strips making sure that I haven't got the the edge bit the straight edge and I'm going to be applying parts of this freely to build up some of the texture I'm going to run it through the acrylic paint to get it primed up and then I'm going to be placing that onto my board so getting a bit of textural surface to it I like using tissue because it's got this quite nice sensitivity and you can sort of sculpt, you can make a low relief sculpture in your in your painting which then filled up with paint is quite nice. I'm, quite happy with that. I'm going to now reapply on top of that the acrylic paint. And then it sort of starts blending in. I want to make sure it's gone straight in because this is going to be the glue that's going to keep your tissue onto the board. Okay, now I'm going to reapply using a palette knife. 
on top of the sand. So building up that textural surface there. Now the acrylic it will dry really a little bit fatter than this. But you still have that really nice textural feel about it. So I'm going to leave that to dry overnight. Well, I've noticed some strike marks in here that I don't like in the sky area it's going to be. So I'm going to make sure that the, the actual brush marks that I've got there are quite flat in contrast to the sculptural area that I've just built up. There you go, that's pretty good. Okay, a few little dobby bits I don't like there. Take them out. And I think we'll, we'll leave that to dry and see what happens overnight. Um, here are some of the ones that I'm going to leave overnight here. A good way to put them to dry is put them on newspaper with a little bit of cellophane underneath. That stops them sticking to the newspaper. Right, lovely. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and um, the second film will be painting on top of these with oil. Give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Bye.